take a look at this figure here, figure 4-3 from uh, the Pearson Essentials textbook. It's looking at Galton's conflict triangle. Um, basically what this is, is saying that there are three different factors that when they are when they combine to, together and when they work together, which they often do, it results in violent conflict. So let's take a look at each one and, uh, and some examples of each. So the first one, and oh, sorry, it's important to note that they have latent and manifest too. I'll, I'll explain what these what these levels mean uh, shortly. So attitudes and assumptions, um, attitudes that exist in society such as racism, discriminatory attitudes, sexism, victimhood, trauma. Um, when those occur, even if the other ones do not, then you could have a conflict that is, that is brewing, maybe not full-fledged violent conflict, but it's on the way. So uh, racism, I mean, we, we see that in different societies, sexism, discriminatory attitudes, discrimination based on any number of things. Uh, it could be based on, on sex, gender, um, race, ethnicity, religion, anything. Um, so this is at the, the latent level. And what that means is that people think, what pe how people think encourages conflict. So this is something that's internalized. You may not see it overtly, but, but people are thinking this and it's sort of a societal phenomenon. Similarly, uh, on the latent level, you have contradiction. So you have inequality that, uh, that is perceived. Um, people feel that things are unequal. There's dispute over territory. Maybe it's not a violent conflict yet, and resources as well. Um, but people are, are feeling that distribution is uh, unequal. And so, again, that's sort of internalized and brewing just under the surface. Now, both of these sort of show up. In the, in the manifest level through observable behavior, which is what we have here. And that's why it's called manifest. How people act encourages conflict. So you have these attitudes and contradictions and assumptions that are brewing underneath the surface. And there's something, some sort of catalyst that, that sparks the fire. And then you have violent behavior, um, acts of genocide, insurgency, attacks, and discriminatory acts. All that is more sort of observable and, and measurable by outside observers. So um, hopefully that helps. Um, again, we'll, we'll take a look at peacemaking, peace building, and peacekeeping in another video. And so once you finish watching that video, just refer back to this one so you can see how each one of these different factors are reduced.